there's only five guys at less than 10 to one odds. You think that's fair, Professor? Like you think you think it's that big of a gap to the big guys? Yeah, I do. But but I do think that one of those those other guys can win though. Like I, I wouldn't count out Chase Elliott or or Christopher Bell or I would say those are the two that I would really look for. Chastain's the one that really surprises me that he's down that far. Chastain is 25 to 1. He was runner up at Texas our last mile and a half race. He was runner up in this race last year. So him being 25 to 1, I think is just it's a little so bit for of value. You don't have him at the top of the predictor, but for value, he's your top value guy. I, I would have to look at him for sure. Like if he stinks in practice, I think we stay away. But if he's if he's a little competitive in practice, he's worth a, a, a nibble. Let's just jump right into the matchups. We're gonna go right over. Listen, here's the here's. I'm just gonna shoot you straight. A playoff guy is gonna win the race, is my opinion. And it's here's the best way to look at it. You ready, Chop? Check this out. There's eight drivers in the playoffs. If you look at the playoff standings, the two, or excuse me, because there's three Gibbs guys. If you look at the playoff standings, the top four guys. So that's Larson and Byron from Hendrick. Truex and Hamlin for Gibbs. Those are the top four guys. All four of them have won at every track in this round. All three. So, I mean, when you talk about heavyweights, they're in there for a reason, right? I mean, so I think this is absolutely a playoff driver win. It's all in the line. So as much as I, you know, I, it's got to be a playoff driver. Experience the thrill of the racetrack like you're in the driver's seat with DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet on your favorite drivers and feel the rush every pass, pit stop, and victory lane like never before. Right now, new customers can turn 5 bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Bet 5 on anything to score big no matter what goes down on the track. Stakes are high as the round of 8 kicks off this week, Las Vegas for the Cup Series. A win for a playoff driver locks you into the championship floor. Be sure to check out our 5 bets to watch each week before placing your bets. With props, parlays, and more, there'll be action to follow all race long. The racing action doesn't stop till the checkered flag drops. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and join with code DMD. New customers can bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. That's code DMD, only on DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Take of those ivories, Professor. Let's get it going. See if we can find some value. Because we all agree that the, the playoff guys are monsters, and that's who's going to run up front. I mean, I, I know people listen here, and you're looking for a nugget. I'm going to give you the nugget. It's that time of the year. Like, these guys are going to show up. I just don't believe that these playoff guys aren't going to put it all on the line. Who, who do you want first? Let's start. Let's go right down our DraftKings matchup board. Let's go Gibbs and Bowman. Gibbs and Bowman. It is Bowman. Bowman, you look at those two. And it's, it's pretty much by a lot. Like when you look at the best track type finish on a mile and a half, it's five to one for these guys in the in this car. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he's the dog. So Gibbs' best mile and a half finish is fourteenth. I think the weaknesses of Gibbs is the mile and a half. So I think he's getting a little better everywhere else, but the mile and a half, he definitely seems to still be just a smidge off. And that's not I mean, that's just him learning the arrow and you know, it's he'll be fine, but I like the Bowman bet as a dog. I really do. Reddick and Hamlin, you're going to tell me it's Hamlin. We don't even have to check it. Hamlin. Harvick and Logano. Ooh, that's a that's a tough one. Not for me, man. Logano. Yeah. Uh, it's, it it leans Logano, but there there's some some brightness to Harvick in some some aspects. Yeah, but you got to understand where he's at. He has four races left in his career. <clears throat> I mean, I just I, I like the Logano bet there. Elliot and Busher. Can you please? Is this any chance that this is Busher over Elliot? It it's it's <laughs> it just favors Busher over Elliot. Very very little. Who had that predicted in February? Yeah, nobody. This is the craziest stat on Busher. You ready for this, Stevie? Oh, yes. What if I told you that Busher's never had a, a top five finish on a mile and a half track? That is shocking. In his career. Maybe you just need to take Elliott for a little matchup, Chop, and not for the big home, the big wham, the big home run. Truex and Bell, you're going to tell me it's Truex by the numbers. 
Oh, it's really tight. So it really comes down to you do believe they're going to figure it out because if you look at the playoffs, it's not even close. Yeah, but you look at Truex, he's finished top 10 in in all three races in the next gen at Las Vegas, and he's been top 10 there, I think it's 11 of the last 12 at Las Vegas, something like yep. that. That is exactly right. Like, so it's that's it's hard to bet against him here. Uh, this one I can't wait to get the numbers on. Blaney and Kyle Busch. So recently it's Blaney. It doesn't shock me. And does it – I mean, he runs pretty good at Vegas. Like in the last five, it's it's four to one Blaney. And he popped out and won the 600. Nobody really had him predicted for. Here's your Keselowski and Chastain. Chastain's a dog. I think that's a great bet for Chastain. The, this – the numbers are by far Chastain. So there you go, Chop. That's the bad line on the board right there if you look at stats. The bad line on the board, if you look at stats, is even money for Chastain over Keselowski. Um, Larson and Byron, I wouldn't touch Larson and Byron. I mean, they are, they are. Listen, is it fair to say, see if you agree with this, Professor. I feel like Larson overall is faster and Byron overall I just waited to finish better. He can finish. He can finish. That's, that's where it's at right now. So let me ask you this. Is is Vegas a race where Larson's issues with finding his way into Rex, whether his fault or not, is something that could happen at Vegas? Or is Vegas a track that kind of help, will help him avoid those? No. So Vegas in general is pretty high grip, pretty high speed, a little bit of roughness in one and two. It is definitely more straightforward, less action than Texas. <clears throat> um, I mean, I actually, to your point, in what we saw with Byron in the spring, if Larson is as fast as he was at Texas, you know, I, I just don't think there's a lot of landmines out there. Restarts can get three wide and crazy through one and two. But once you get rolling, it's a really high grip racetrack. I'm not touching that one because I think whoever wins that matchup is going to have to about win the race. 